memories press between the pages of my mind. Memories sweeten through the ages just like wine. Quiet thoughts come floating down and settle softly to the ground like gold of autumn leaves around my feet. I touch them and they burst apart with sweet memories. Sweet memories of holding hands and red bouquets and twilights trimmed in purple haze and laughing eyes and simple ways and quiet nights and gentle days with you. Memories press between the pages of my mind. Memories sweeten through the ages just like wine. Memories Memories Of holding hands and red bouquets And twilights trimmed in purple haze And laughing eyes and simple ways And quiet nights and gentle days with you Memories Reading, learning with us a short um, Hasidic discourse, which is also inviting the people that uh, are quoted in the discourse to come. It's a very exalted um, group, including people from the Talmud and uh, all the Hasid many of the Hasidic rabbis from the last few generations. So we'll start off. Um, I want you to sit down over here. Uh, guys, have a seat over here. It's, it's not our tradition to stop him from saying it, though. Okay. Uh, This is uh, really a, a Hasidic explanation of why we're doing the bedek and why he's covering over the bride's face. And this, and, uh, um, this uh, part of the initial part of the wedding ceremony. So go ahead. Can I attempt to give my interpretation of it, or can you read? Just at least read the first two paragraphs, okay. then you can do whatever you want. Okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> come on, beloved, to greet the bride. Let us welcome the Shabbos. Uh, the previous Rebbe uh, relates in the discourse of Achadudi which is included in the series of wedding uh, mamirim, that a groom is like a king and a bride like a queen. Uh, metaphorically, uh, the groom refers to God and the bride to Israel. In the spiritual realm, the sefirot, uh, the air on uh represent the groom and malchut, the bride. 
The phrase, come my beloved to greet the bride, represents a transmissive influence from uh, the Zer Anpim to Malchut, which follows an ordered pattern. First, there's an ex external transmission of influence, which is only encompassing light, uh, uh, i.e. a revelation of a level too high to be internalized, which leaves only a general impression, followed by internal transmission. Uh, a similar procedure occurs in every transmission of influence from a mashpia, giver, to a mekabal, receiver. At first, influence must be transmitted from the external aspects of the mashpia to the uh, external aspects of the mekabal. Through this bond, the Mechabel can rise up and approach the level of the Mashbiya, thus acquiring the capability to receive a transmission of the Mashbiya's inner aspects. Continue? Yeah, a little more. Uh, the previous Rebbe gives two examples of the process, which illustrate this point. The instruction given by a teacher to his students and a father playing with a small child. It is possible to say that the purpose of giving these examples was not merely to demonstrate the order of transmission, i.e. that an external bond precedes an internal one, but also to emphasize the great level contained within these two transmissions of influence. Uh, in these cases, even the external transmission of influence represents a very high level to the point uh, where it possesses advantage over even an internal connection. The external influence, which is an encompassing light, is above the vessels, i.e. ability to contain of the receiver. In contrast, influence transmitted to the internal bond can be received and grasped by the, by the receiver. Nevertheless, despite the advantage of the external connection, it is only an introduction to the internal bond, uh, internal bond through which the internal bond, a level to attain that is even higher than the encompassing light. This level is alluded to in, in uh, the mimer and the quotation, upon all the glory shall there be canopy. The word all implies two aspects of glory, the glory of the groom and the glory of the bride. And on every higher level, the glory of the supernal father, the sphere of chokhmah wisdom, and the glory of the supernal mother, the sphere of bina, understanding. Um, through this, the transmission of glory and external bond, the union of chokhmah and bina, and the union uh, of their, their opinion and of Malchut is brought about. Uh, although both glory and the ma marriage canopy of Chokhmah Bina and uh, the air and Pim Malchut are encompassing lights, nevertheless only through the union of them, which is the air bomb, is yes, drawn down. Okay. If that made any sense, try reading that in Yiddish and make, might make more sense. Um, so I'd have to give what I sure. try to get from uh, my reading. And then just read the last paragraph. And then but say, what, but read, say whatever you okay. wanted to say from it. Go ahead. So, um, Typically, um, uh, the, in a relationship, the man is, is the giver and the woman is the receiver. I don't know you're talking about. Um, uh, providing us in the marriage contract, uh, uh, physically for the woman, in marital relations, the man's the giver, the woman is, is, is the receiver. Uh, and similarly, God is the giver and, and we, the Jewish people, are, are the receiver. Um, later on, it quotes um, a, a, a famous rabbi who said that he received, typically what went when a big teacher teaches, the teacher is the giver, and the students are the receiver. Uh, but but this, this this rabbi said he got more from his students um, than he necessarily gave to them. So as, as kind of how I interpret it, um, if I do what I'm supposed to do in the marriage, um, I'm going to get far more from her than uh, I'm going to get from her. So I have to do what's right and make her happy and all that, and I will end up with a lot. Okay, just read the list part. Is that okay interpretation? It's fine. It's good. It's good. Okay. You're the king today. Whatever you say goes. Whatever I say goes. <laughs> How long does that last? Today. <laughs> <laughs> We're very wise, sir. Actually, another half hour, maybe tops. That's about it. Uh, so, uh, this is the meaning of the verse, Come, my beloved, and greet the bride, let us welcome the Shabbos. Uh, this is the request of the Jewish people that should be a transmission from uh, the Zer Arpin to Malkut. The first stage of the transmission is, Come, my beloved, and greet the bride only coming an external bond, but through that it is possible to welcome the Shabbos. The Hebrew word used, pideh, can also be translated as receive the inner aspects of Shabbos. The inner aspects of Malkut, Malkut is rooted in Atit, the inner aspects of Keser. Uh, revealed, therefore, a poor form of the word is used for a Rizal Pinin, also received from the source of Malkut. Thus, a woman of valor is the crown of her husband, i.e. the woman, Malkut, becomes higher than the uh, Al Pinin and Malkut. A similar process occurs with every mashbiyah and receiver through the receiver, the mashbiyah himself, reaches a higher level. As the Talmud states, from the students that receive more than all. This is particularly true in regard to a bride and groom on the physical plane. Through the transmission of inner influence, a woman of valor is the crown of her husband. Similarly, everything came from dust. Dust, the lowest level, serves as a source for creation. Through this process, God's infinite power is transmitted in a blessed and righteous generation with children and grandchildren occupied in Torah and Israel. Ay 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 
Chaim, Chaim. Two room. 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 Two Okay, page three, we're on the bottom of the page, which says, Ashrei, by the way, God understands Hebrew as well as English. So if you're more comfortable reading it in English, it's perfectly fine. Page three, that way, we, as we understand there. Whatever you want. Page three. And I wish lots of good luck to, to you, your Hatan, and uh, may this be a beginning of a beautiful life together. And I wish you good luck and mazel in all that you want to do. Name. Page five, the silent devotion, and you can read it in, like I said, in Hebrew or in English. I wish whatever is supposed to be, be, and you will be happy. I don't know who is the Okay, so is that, like, I want you to get married soon? To Zohar. Because I don't know Zohar, so like... So people would, uh, they would have a little room, and they would put into the room... Pillows, blankets, sheets, pillowcases, all kinds of, uh, you know, glasses and uh, pottery, you know, all, everything that you needed for the, for the family. That, uh, so this is like the last ditch effort. So anybody who didn't give any presents yet, they're uh, very, no, I'm only kidding. Uh, anyway, so <laughs> you, the, the, the problem is that, uh, the pro so what we do now, instead of that process, which was, uh, t took a whole year, we initiate the relationship between the chassan and the kala, between the bride and the groom now. This is a very holy ceremony, which uh, is only effective for the next half an hour until we finally go to the chuppah, but it still has a tremendous spiritual effect. And so, uh, and, uh, so, and as, like I said, it initiates this relationship, and, um, and so we're going to ask the following people to come forward so that we make sure we know who they are. Uh, that we have everybody, because this is a lot of people here. Yeah. Because basically we're guaranteeing that the bride and groom show up. Mm. So you, you guys, so we'll see who's on the hook for Who's on the hook for what? No, you're, you're the, <laughs> this is the informal. Okay, this is better. Okay. Wait, raise your hand, please. Identify yourself to the, to, okay. Jack, okay. You are, you are. I am. Okay, so we're going to be making a All right, so we're, the two witnesses are David, Rabbi David Roth. Okay, Rabbi Roth, it's a pleasure to see you. Pleasure to meet you. Mazel tov. And you don't know how much of a pleasure it is. <laughs> okay, so it's an extreme pleasure to it's see you. It's an extreme pleasure. An, ex an extremely extreme pleasure. <laughs> oh, thank you very much. You appreciate it. Okay, where did you come from, Rabbi Roth? Cambridge. Cambridge. Nice very nice. Okay, thanks. All right, so we'll have, we'll, we'll have a, I hope we'll have a chance to dance later. And, but Dr. Bill Moritz, 
coming from Chicago. We've never met before, but it's a pleasure not to, to meet you. Uh, his title is Landlord of the Bride and Groom. So that's exactly, I don't know, is he allowed to have this? It's uh, Mikey Ribas or something. All right, anyway. So you're not going to change the rent or anything. Right? Well, I'm not going to evict you tomorrow. Oh, okay. that's who you Monday. are. <laughs> Monday. Okay. All right. So now we're going to oh, we're going to the um, Jack's my brother. Jack is the brother, and he is represent he is representing the groom. So we're going to make where the two you two witnesses. We're going to make a whole bunch of kinyanim. The idea in Judaism is everything has a time, a place, and an action to identify it. So even though we could say. You know, in theory, the bride is going to marry the groom. Still, there has to be something that happens that transpires that you can see happen, and the witnesses have to see it to know that it actually happened. So now, since you're, for you to just say, I'm going to make sure my brother shows up, that's not good enough. You have to lift up my yarmulke, and that's the action that shows that, that, that you're going to help this happen, okay? It's not enough, because we have to have guarantors for you also. But that's another story. Oh, okay, nothing personal. A bride, the representative of the bride is Uncle Herman. Uncle Herman. Okay, Uncle Herman. Same thing. Thanks a lot, Uncle Herman. So you're going to, you guys are going to make sure that this happens. And also, and just in case, uh, and just in case they forgot to pay for the wedding, you two are on the hook. But we'll worry about that. <laughs> right now. <laughs> The Or of Kablan, the, the, the guarantor for these two gentlemen, because like I said, it's a much, it's a, the guarantor for, for this on the side of the groom is Jack Kahn, friend of the groom's family. Mr. Kahn? To your left. To that my left. That would be me. That would be you, Mr. Kahn. Would you please lift up this yarmulke? Thank you very much. Okay, you did a great job. You've been doing that for a long time? No, it's okay. Practicing. <laughs> Practicing. Okay, it's all right. Now, um, on the side of the bride, we have Donald Rosenbaum. That's me. That would be you, Mr. Rosenbaum. Thank you so much. And you're, like I said, the two of you are actually, if these two guys leave town and somebody and nobody's left, you know, and then you'll be in charge with the catering bill. That's okay with you, right? Okay, that's fabulous. He can handle it. Okay. <laughs> that was the right answer. All right. Huh? What? Okay. The chis okay, so now we're going to make the, the witnesses are still watching, right? You bet. Bill, are you watching? No daydreaming now. Okay, all right. Now you're going to you're you really you're going to go through this, right? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Lift this up. That's it. Yeah, that's all right. Thank you. All right, and we're uh, and if I can ask you to represent your daughter? I usually do. Okay. So in this case also, please lift that up and that demonstrates that we're going to go through this, and we'll make sure that she comes, and everything's going to work out. Now, she's here already, so it's, that's a, it's kind of a, this is an easy part. Okay. Okay. So now we're going to ask the two witnesses who have witnessed this whole experience a sign. In the meantime, we have a mitzvah to sing. If Gedalia isn't in this room, you mind if he, since he already has a no, 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 but uh, just let them, um, do you mind if uh, Yitzhak reads the, reads it to know him now? Gedalia's not in the room, it's just, right, it's just, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. All right, now, like any other document, we need to read it to know, so that everybody knows what it says. Basically, it says that uh, the bride and the groom are going to love each other, are going to live together and have a beautiful life. As soon as we get to the chuppah, like I said, at that point, the, uh, this document is kind of history, and uh, we will finish with, uh, with the nesuim, which is the second part of the marriage, which is the permanent part of the marriage. And uh, we're going to read this, and it, it, after we read this, we're going to ask uh, Rabbi Baram, 
who is uh, somebody I'm personally familiar with, and, and to uh, my son-in-law to please read the... Uh, He's your son -in -law? He is, so far. Anyway. <laughs> Good. Otherwise, uh, <laughs> 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 Hanal is Chayev as at my litten matanis la achiv hachasin hanal matanis la akala hanal begadim la achiv hachasin hanal kemenag hanagidim for samim harihu nechbar ma'am for sam chulo chayim hanal ha'imin mitzad akala hanal his chayev as at my litten nadav la akala hanal matanis la hachasin hanal begadim la akala hanal kemenag hanagidim ma'am for samim. Talis <laughs> <laughs> The <laughs> Okay. All right, so uh, now we have completed this part of the uh, ceremony, and so uh, we're going to break a plate. Okay, so break it on the chair, not, not on the ground. On the, I, nobody wants to break it on the groom, but anyway, so break it on the chair. The idea, anyway, so it's just something which is usually used from the actual table itself. And this is actually one of the plates here, so go ahead. Let's see how we do it. Okay. Thank you very much. Two witnesses that are signing the Ksuba, which is Neil Kersner and Barak Bentor. Where's Barak? Okay. Um, we're going to, the signing of the Ksuba is going to be done under microscopic precision. So, therefore, we're going to kind of leave the room to, in order to do that. But in the meantime, you have to see this cousin. Now, there, you want to, you know what the, the, what the Ksuba says, right? You are responsible to take care of your wife in all the ways the Ksuba said, which you read. And uh, you're going to lift this up to signify that, and you're going to give, we're going to give her that 
under the chuppah. And, yes. and if you change your mind, it's going to be too late at that point. Okay, fine. Excellent. Yes. Okay. You guys, you guys saw him be Makamal Kenyan? Okay. Then uh, you'll go with Yitzhak now and you sign it. And we'll do it. And then when you come back, we'll go to the Bedak. As Charles, as Rabbi Cheskel has so elo eloquently informed us and taught us in the, in the mimer, in the Hasidic discourse that he read, that, um, that this, is a this is a very, very, very important time. That this is kind of a, a snapshot of the entire of the chuppah. It's the beginning, it's the first contact between, the first, the first marital contact between the chassan and the kala. And the heavens are really, and we'll say later, are kind of ripped open here. And the blessings are showering down. There, many people say that this, uh, so there are two really different approaches to this part of the service. One part, what's, one part of this, this is very serious until you get to the wedding. Other people extend joy. The idea here is, uh, and I don't want to mention everything, every, this to the, everybody in this room. We're here today as God's emissaries. And what I mean by that is we have a job. So the reason why you give gifts at a wedding is because you have a, jo you have a job to make the bride and groom happy. Not you have a job to come and eat dinner. You have a job today, not tomorrow. You know, what you guys do with your brother tomorrow is your problem. But today, our job is to make the bride and groom happy. And the reason why you give money, you give gifts, is because you really don't know if you are dancing and carrying on and singing and saying l'chaim and saying we love you and how much we want for you, if that's going to be good enough. Everybody likes money, so that's a sure bet. Right? So that's, a, that's, the, reason why you give, that's the reason why you give gifts. So our job is to make them happy. And that's why we're singing and dancing, etc. So there's, and besides singing, dancing, joy is part of its getter. Joy breaks through all bounds. So it's something, with a person, when they're happy, they can accomplish things. When they're depressed, it's geferlach. So that's the idea. So this is a very, a day when we're making sure the blessings are going to come. And we're going to bring the bride and group, we're going to bring the groom now to be, greet the bride. And to cover her face as it's done, as it's been done for thousands and thousands of years since the time of Yitzhak Avinu. With different brides. With different brides, right. Not the same. If you're not wearing one of the kippahs, please, please put on. By the way, are you, we're not singing a little slow song, right? We're singing, we're singing, we're singing, we're singing. No, I'm saying now. Okay, now, anything? Okay. An altar of is niggin. No. Ay, 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 Do you have any preference who wants you? Who's walking? Okay, your brother's brother. Walk with your two brothers, that's all right. Ay, 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 Sing with us. On either side. Hold on to him so he doesn't fall down. On his arm. Hold his arms like this. Yeah, 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 yeah
around seven times. Just walk around. We're going to begin by inviting the most important guest. Of course, not a guest. It's master of the universe who blesses all of us and is blessing Brenna and Charles on this incredible day, bringing together these in two incredible souls. What can you say it's uh, exactly to invoke and to, to bring God and God is blessing? So there's a formulaic song which we're going to invite um, Rabbi Cantor, Chabad of Temple University, please to share and uh, help lead us in this prayer. <laughs> says the, uh, the words of the righteous stand forever. There's a tradition that uh, in, all, in all times and in, in many times, before the Rebbe's passing, he would always send a letter to the bride and groom, send, giving his, mazel, his brachas of mazel tov 
that tradition has, does not stop as far as we're concerned because uh, the Rebbe is no longer physically with us. But certainly that, those letters that were sent to all types of people, regardless of whether, whether they had, whether the bride, whether the groom had a beard, hopefully the bride didn't have a beard, whether the groom had a beard, <laughs> or whether it was uh, Ashkenazic, Sephardic, Reform, whatever, all different types of people. And uh, we would like to ask um, the Rebbe Shliach to Northern Liberties, please, to read the Rebbe's letter and for Dr. Bruce Levin to please translate the Rebbe's letter. So here's the letter in the original Hebrew. No, it's Hebrew here, it's Hebrew. <laughs> Baruch Hashem, Brooklyn, New York, Shalom Obracha, B'mayna al-Aida, M'kfiyah Zman Chasen Askam. Hineni b'zeh lehevi b'rchasi b'rchas mazel tov, mazel tov, v'shatiyah, v'shatoyah v'motzlachas, v'yivnu b'ayis b'yisrael b'nyan ha'dayat, al Yisrael, al Yisraeli ha'tayra v'amitzvah, k'fi sh'hei mu'arim b'mar sh'batayra zuhi tayra sachsidus, b'rchas mazel tov, mazel tov, and the Rebbe Sassimah. Stand on the chafah, Bruce. Stand on the chafah. By the grace of God, Brooklyn, New York. Greetings and blessings. In response to your notification that your wedding date has been set, I wish to convey my blessing of Mazel Tov, Mazel Tov. May the wedding take place in a good and auspicious time. And may you build a Jewish home an everlasting edifice on the foundations of Torah and mitzvahs, as they are illuminated by the luminary within Torah, namely the teachings of Hasidus, with blessings of Mazel Tov, Mazel Tov, the Rebbe's signature. Uh, the Jewish people are called a nation of priests and a holy nation, but there is... Uh, Nonetheless, there are some among us that are actually priests or kohanim. We like to call them up specifically. What's it? Barak. Barak, if you would please come forward and extend Birchus Kohanim. And if any other kohanim are available or here, also you're also invited to participate. Okay. Okay. I guess we're ready. Uh, where's the rain? We need at this point. All right, we're going to call up at this point uh, the. Um, the two witnesses for the uh, the two witnesses for the uh, for the kedushin for the uh, ma for the marriage, Manny Hoba and Jason Weinberg. Right here. So you guys are going to be up here during the duration. So you'll just listen to we'll follow. the. Uh, like everything else in Judaism, we want, the joy is something which transcends all bounds. Today, Brenna and Charles are, thank God, getting married. I'm not, and uh, <laughs> thank God. And everybody, we could all say thank God a, a number of times, and we will thank later. God. Okay. Um, at any rate, the. Uh, but uh, wine is a symbol of joy. And wine, just the same way a grape, is kind of hiding this beautiful, this beautiful source of blessing and joy. And it, and it comes out through the wine. It's the same thing now. This process is going to bring out, hopefully, it will bring out, a beautiful <coughs> new unit, a new person, which is the two of you, which are now becoming one person. <laughs> 
And the funny thing about a wedding is, even though rabbis can seem to go on and speak forever, the wedding ceremony is really very, very fast. It's really this next bracha and the things we're going to do, which are part of the bracha. You make a blessing before you do a mitzvah, because we're not, because this action that we do is God's, is God, we are God's emissary in performing this action. It's not just I'm standing up here and Charles is going to put the ring on your finger. It's God is enabling you through this process to join two halves of one soul that have led two separate lives and for most of your life didn't know each other at all and from now on will never be separated in a loving way, in a beautiful way, and in a happy way. So we're going to start off. And I'm going to need you after this to help me give, the, give them the, the wine. So if you can give somebody else that. Uh, okay. Okay. Do I have room for one of your testicles? Okay, thanks. So you're going to give them the wine afterwards, okay? Okay. Okay, so I'm going to say the bracha. Do I give it to Charles or Brown? Give it to Charles first this time, okay? Okay. to adinoi eleheinu melech ha'elam borei priyagafem. Ruchato adinoi eleheinu melech ha'elam asher kedishonu b'mitzvah yisabitzivano ala royes v'osa lono esa rusois v'hitu lono esa nusois lono al yidei chupa v'kedushin baruch ato adinoi mekadesh amo Yisrael al yidei chupa v'kedushin No. Let, no. Let, let the mother, let her mother give her, let her mother give her. Yeah. Do I say the blessing again? Yeah, you could say it. Great Amen. Amen. Hey, do we have the ring? Okay. Okay, the ring is something which is round. It has no markings on it. Please extend your... Right oh, index, which, which one? this one, uh, this, this right. index yeah, right. to show that it's different than, to show that it's different. It's not just wearing a ring. Okay, Charles is now going to say the formula, the formula which has married Jewish men and Jewish women for thousands and thousands of years, according to the Talmud. Okay. Okay. Before you do that, we're just going to make sure this is yours. Yes. And uh, you think it's worth more than about a dollar? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Okay, good. Okay, that's all right. Can you share? Okay, so you're going to put it on. All right, ready? Hare. Hare. Et. At. At. Mekudeshet. 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 Li. Betobaaz. Betobaaz. Zo. Kedat. Moshe. The Yisrael. Oh, man. Mekudeshet. Mekudeshet. Okay. Okay. So the, the marriage ceremony has a few parts, but right now, according to the Torah, mazel tov. You're married. You're married. <laughs> All right. Um, the next part, the next, uh, we're going now to, to read the ksuba. We're going to ask Rabbi Hirsch um, to please come forward to read the ksuba. And uh, at that point, you're going to give it to the going to give the ksuba to Brenna, and uh, you'll always know where this is. This talks about all the obligations that you have as a loving... What? Okay. Well, she, it's her job to decide where the ksuba goes. Okay, so it's her ksuba. Don't forget. Okay. Yeah, sure, Kaya. Lamanish on a monocan, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. A chabacha, Yecheskel ben Leib Hirsch Halevi. Amahat la la hada basulta. Bunya Rivka bas Yachmiel Chaim. Havali le into Kadash Moshe of Israel. Bona Eflach, the old care of Azon, the finest to see Hilecha Kilchas Gavani who died. The Polchen, a Morkin, the Zonor, the Firesen, the Shem, the Kushta. The Yehivna Lechi Mar, the Sulaychi Kess of Zuzi Masan. The Chazi Lechi Midoraisa. The Zunaychi Susai Simsipukais. Sipukaihi, Melo Sihi Kar Halara. What's Fias Maras Bunya Rivka Besulta da, the Havaslava into, the Dena Dunya, the Halna Slave Nasha, 
בין בכסף, בין בזוב, בין בתכשיטן. ומוני ללבוש שם בשמושה דירה, בשמושה דארסו, הכל קיבו עליו, יחזקו הלוי, חסן דנן, ומי איזה קוקו עם כסף צורף. וצלוב יחזקו הלוי, חסן דנן, והוסיף לו מין דילי, עוד מי איזה קוקו עם כסף צורף, אחרים כנגדון. סך הכל, מסיים איזה קוקו עם כסף צורף. וכך אומר יחזקו הלוי, חסן דנן, אחרי שר כסוף דדו, נדוני דין תוספת דו, כבולס עליי, יוסי בסרי, להספר על הכל, שפר אריק, נכסים וקניונים, דאיסלי תחוס כל שמיה. וקנאי ועושה אונו למקנא, נכסים דאיסלי הון, אחראי עשה לאיסלי הון, אחראי עשה, כולם יהון, אחראי וערבי לפרום אין הון, שתק סופת דו, דיני דין תוספת דו, מינוי. ואפילו מן גלימה דאר כספוי, וחיי בוסר חיי, מן יום הדדן, ולעולם. ואחרי עש וחומר שתק סופת דו, נדוני דין תוספת דו, כאילו עלו ביחס כל לוי חסן דנן, וחומר כל שטורי סופות ותוספתות, ונחוגים ובנוס ישראל, עשוי כי תיקו חכמינו זכרון לברכה, ולא כאסמך דא עלו כתופתי דשטורי. וקנינו מנכס כל בן לב הרש הלוי חסן דנן, ומורס בוני רבקו בס ורחמיל חיים בסולת הדו, על כל מד הכוסף ומפורש לאל, ומורד וכושר מקנאי בי. הכל שור וקיים. נו, נחמיה שמחה בן מאיר באר הכהן, בן מאיר באר עיד, נו, ברק מרדכי בן יעקב אהרן הכהן עיד. Okay, now, the, the witnesses, thank you, Yashar Kayach. The witnesses now are going to watch. Charles, give it to Brenna. Okay, okay. I'm not going to give it to Michael. Hold on to it. Thank you. <laughs> okay. All right. There's um, a tremendous amount of love in this room. We're all been waiting for a long time. I think we said that already for this to happen. But. This is the proper time for it to happen, because this is when it's happening. God is showering tremendous blessings on the two of you. Every person in this room really would like to be up here blessing you. Unfortunately, we have to, you know, it doesn't make sense. So what we're going to do is pick seven individuals to make those blessings in honor all the, of the rest of us. Everybody who's come here today has brought something very, very important with them. And that's your soul. And you're going to, and each one of us, and she has also. <laughs> and well, she's representing she's re father. Okay. Well, Rep Brenna's, by the way, that's one thing I just want to mention, that Brenna's father and Charles's mother are both, actually, the tradition is representing themselves besides all of us that are here. All those that uh, heaven is not, heaven is, the, the, the Rebbe, there was once a story where, the, where the, somebody came to the Rebbe and talked about the fact that he had lost a loved one. And the Rebbe said, just really think of it as they're living in an apartment upstairs. So the, the, those that are the beloved parents and grandparents are here with us today and blessing us today, as is the Rebbe. Right now, the, the, the messengers, the emissaries of those in the congregation and of those people are the seven people that we ask to say the blessings at this beautiful ceremony. We're going to each ask, ask each one of them to come. And everybody's heard this many times, but to say it again. During the seven blessings, one of the blessings is Yotzer Odom, which is you're actually making the blessing for being born. We don't make a blessing when a baby's born. We say... It's good news, it's a good thing, etc., etc. But the blessing of a person being formed, being truly formed, is at the time of a wedding, at the time of a marriage. Because the, what's being created here is not only a full person, but a house which, where, where the light and the love that the two of you have is going to be shared with the rest of the world. You're both people that help, that love, that are involved in helping the community, that are concerned for others. And that's something that will only be amplified for the fact that now you have, so to speak, your own platform to do so. 
Charles is, when it comes to my talking, Charles would rather I make it shorter, so I'm going to cut it off here. <laughs> At any rate, it's but... Not, it's, it's not time yet. It's okay, Rabbi. Okay. <laughs> anyway, well, we're going to start, we're going to ask, uh, start the blessings. And like I said, this is your participation in the blessings is to say amen. It's a very big thing. It makes each, each one of these blessings, it propels each one of these blessings with the soul of each one of us bring, it propels each one of these blessings higher and higher and higher. So we're going to first call, um, we're going to first call, okay, Phil, Philip Farber and, and his son, a friend of the, uh, of the bride's family, to come up and make the first blessing. By the way, we have a... We have, just for the sake of, uh, we have transliterations also, if you're more comfortable reading it with a transliteration in English, I'm happy to do that. We're happy to make that available to you. Okay, well, that's the, what they do the first door. Okay. You have, I, I also have it over here. Okay. Well, you're, let's stand under the chuppah because we're going to bless them. This is their, this is a miniature house that they have. What? <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm going to do that. So, but I want to, um, well, let me see what you have. So. Okay. Yeah. And then what are you doing? But the first two. Yeah. Yeah. Shall call Baralich Vodo. Okay. So hold this with your right hand. Okay. We're going to hold, fill this up again. And you could, he could hold it for you because that's what he's talking about. Yeah, first the brave pure guffin. First the brave pure guffin and then number one. Right together? No, no, just one. Okay, yeah. Okay. Amen. And then the second one. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Number one. Amen. Okay. Number two. Um, Stephen Kabakov, cousin of the bride. Yeah, you could leave. Thank you very much. You hold the cup in your right hand, <laughs> and you have it here in Hebrew or in English. Amen. Number three. Number four is Moshe Speter, friend of, Speter, sorry, friend of the bride's family. Hold it in your right hand. Okay. Number three, you have it in Hebrew or in English. Baruch atah adnai, Elohim melech ha'olam, asher yatsa et ha'adam b'tzamo, b'tzalem d'mut tabnito, v'etkin lo mimenu b'nyan adai ad, baruch atah adnai, yotzer ha'adam. Amen. Number five, Greg Stein. Brother yes. of the bride. Stand under the chuppah, please face the chas and kali, right hand. Sos tassis, we have to write. Sos tassis. Sos tassis, vitagel, hakara, bikibutz, beneha, la tocha, bimish. The simcha. The simcha, baruch ata, na, sameach, tion, bibbeneha. Amen. Thank you. Okay. The next is Ben Kramitz. Kramers. Kramers? Kramers. Ben Kramers. Yeah. <laughs> Which one am I doing? Right. Samachraim <laughs> <laughs> Kesamecha Yitzircha began Aiden Mikadem Barakatarai Mesamecha Tan Vechala Amen. 
would want to call Rabbi Shmuel Rothman for the last bracha, friend of the bride, of the broom, and the bride, and the rabbi, <laughs> and everybody. It's, it's all his fault I'm here. It's all, okay. It's also God's fault. And, okay. Connected. Okay. okay, all connected. There you go. Yehuda. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> I'll hold the flowers and you can give your daughter first to drink, okay? <laughs> <laughs> huh? Huh? Okay. Yeah. Hold them for a minute. Okay, another. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, um, Mazel Tov. <laughs> okay, so before the band sings the Umesh Gachech, um, first of all, I want to wish you Mazel Tov. And I want to tell you that uh, how happy all of us are and how, how much we expect that uh, how much that uh, your love will grow, your life together should be a happy and healthy one in every way. And we, everybody says amen to that. And uh, you will continue to be, you know, tremendous members of the community, helping in, in, in so many ways. And we're, gonna, we're so excited to see what's going to be happening with the rest of your lives together. And, uh, and we wish you only the best. Before we sing Imesh Gachech, I just want to mention one thing. The wedding ends after everybody gets dressed up and sings and dances, and there'll be more singing and dancing later, with one little hitch kind of and that is that we break a, a glass and the glass reminds us that even though we're overflowing with joy there is still a lot in the world that needs to be fixed so we have a very powerful weapon right now which is going to help fix the world which is the, your house and your marriage something to remember that rabbis always say is that and this is a, a very beautiful statement, is that we break a glass to remind us that a glass can always be refired, and that you're marrying a human being. You're marrying a human being. That means human beings have problems. They make mistakes. When, the, when they break the glass, the response that you're supposed to have when somebody breaks the glass in the house is mazel tov. <laughs> That's the response that we're having today for breaking this glass. And in our lives, that's the response when the husband messes up, when the bride, when the kala messes up, when the wife messes up, when the kids mess Mazel tov. It's a learning experience. It's some way we're going to grow together. We're going to lo love each other. We're going to figure it out. If we have that attitude, everything works out. And we, and we have that attitude, correct? Mazel tov. <laughs> okay. As far as everyone else is here who's brought their neshamas, like we said before, there's a war going on in the world. There's people dying. There's problems that we really are, are ha the things that have happened in the last few months that are incredible in many ways. We shouldn't have to see the miracles that we see on a daily basis from Israel, but we do. The unity of the Jewish people that's been happening, that's accomplished at this time and is only growing by the day, is something which is, which is 
the most powerful spiritual force in the world. That's something that each one of us can contribute to. What do you do? Do a mitzvah. We, we, we break the glass at the end of this wedding to remind us that each one of us has work to do. The bride and the groom have work to do. But each one of us has work to do and each one of us can make the world a better place by, by bringing more light, by bringing more Torah, by bringing more mitzvahs, by doing more wonderful good things to help the world, the Jewish people, Israel, and each other, everyone who's in this room. It's easy to help people you don't know. Sometimes it's harder to help people you do know. So that's the message of breaking the glass, that each one of us has the ability to bring Mashiach. It should come very, very soon. Today would be preferable, would be what we'd like, really. And, uh, and each one of us has the power to do that. With your heel, with your heel, okay. okay. Go ahead. Mazel tov. Mazel tov. Okay, I'll tell you. Oh, Yisrael, Navi, Mazel tov, Mazel tov, and say mitov. Yeah, hey, Lord, oh yeah, hey, Lord, oh yeah. Mazel tov, Mazel tov, Mazel tov, and say mitov. Say mitov, Mazel tov, Mazel tov, and say mitov. Yeah, hey, Lord, you're a witness for the community. Thank you for reading the story.
join us on the dance floor.
you're not going to hear anything. <laughs> wow. Okay. Uh, Brenna is my only daughter. Greg, wherever you are, and Kim and Harper are the rest of my family. Uh, we had this really neat family, and their dad, my husband, Rick, was taken away. And uh, Charles is being welcomed into our home, which is the Stein Kabakoff uh, Silver. Kim? <laughs> uh, Siegel, Rosenbaum, uh, family, and we know that both Charles's mom and Rick are around. That this young lady is very special. As Charles knows, I keep saying. <laughs> and uh, we have had a community of friends from Philadelphia and Stanford uh, helping to put this weekend together. And so we are blessed. Uh, even Cleveland. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Woo! Cleveland rocks! <laughs> and Acton. Yeah. And um, I love them. Can everybody hear me in the back okay? No. no. <laughs> Say we'll hear you. I'm going to be yelling at you. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, so we, we, we have the choice of turning this into a little bit of a roast or a toast. But being that this... How about a little bit of both? All right, a little bit of both. Okay, so let's go back to May 1978. My brother and I are outside playing ball. Not me, Mike. Not this one. The other brother in the back who won the arm wrestle. He, uh, we're outside, and our very, very pregnant mother goes waddling down the driveway into our aunt's car for their drive to Smithtown General Hospital on Long Island. Okay, hours go by, days go by, who knows? We were 15 and 13, 15 and 12. We didn't know where the mother was, we had no idea. But one night while watching a Yankees-Royals game on our new 13-inch tube upstairs, <laughs> our grandmother works her way up the stairs, huffing and puffing, and says, we have a baby brother. And we're like, cool. <laughs> How cool is that? We're thinking, baseball. No. No. Hockey. Never worked out. <laughs> Soccer didn't even work. Riding a bike didn't work. <laughs> Swimming. Nothing worked. And which is a shame because Barry and I were pretty good at that. But we got progressively worse, so we gave up. We stopped trying. So now you put this kid in front of a TV, the new 19-inch tubes, with a controller, and if you put a dragon spitting fire at you, turtles throwing hammers at you, he can handle that. He did, he's, was great at rescuing princesses. <laughs> and now he has... So now, now he has his own. All right. Some of the things he has done well, though, I want to say, has been going to school, Brainiac. College, unbelievable. Work, very successful, and picking out his new extended family in Philly, one of his greatest tra traits, without a doubt. All right, here comes, the, here comes the cornball stuff. All right. From here on out, you're each your number one focus for love, honesty, family, loyalty. You go right down the list. You're each number one, forever, forever and ever. Honesty, focus, love, you name it. So from everyone here, okay. <laughs> Take a breath. And everyone we wish was here. 
Mazel tov. Mazel tov. All right, thank you. So I, I will try to make this fairly quick for everybody. Um, a lot of speech. Yeah. Oh. So I just want to say that rule number one, I think, of giving speeches at weddings is to not be the guy who's drank too much. And so I think I'm good there. But rule number two is you don't want to have to be the person following up a great speech. And unfortunately, I'm going to have a tougher time with that. So I'm already set up uh, behind the eight ball, but we'll, we'll see what I can do. Um, so since being a very little kid, I had to go to a lot of dance recitals for my sister. <laughs> Brenna loves to dance, always has, and I got dragged every single year to watch three and a half hours of little kids doing choreographed dancing, and let me tell you, it was awful. Every single time. Every single time. And I was on for 10 minutes. <laughs> But we stayed for the whole thing, because why not? Um, and Brenna, you know, and every bat mitzvah she's ever been to, she's gotten on the dance floor and had a great time. And Brenna's just someone whose entire life has revolved around loving to dance. And she got to dance today, and I will say, I have never seen her as happy, because as much joy as dancing brings Brenna, the only thing that could be better is dancing with Charles and knowing that she's starting her life with Charles and getting the chance to just celebrate with you know, all of the friends and family who are able to come here. So I, I've never seen her happier, and, and rightfully so. Um, I'm getting to know Charles better and better, and I think he's you know, a, a wonderful fit, particularly because he's really poor at sports. That works just <laughs> fine with our family. You know, we, we can go and both miss tennis balls as we're you know, swinging. I mean, this will be perfect. Um, I own a racket. <laughs> so, uh, you, you know, I think we're set up to, you know, I, I can't wait to get to know Charles better. And, uh, you know, I will mention briefly that, you know, my father, unfortunately, uh, can't be here. He loved his family more than anything, was so protective of Brenna and just, Brenna could do almost no wrong in the eyes of her father and just, so whoever Brenna ended up with would have to be very special and wonderful and just a great person and I have all of the confidence in the world that he would have been enthusiastic and been extraordinarily happy to welcome Charles to the family as I am and uh, good luck, and we can't, you know, look forward to years of terrible sports together. <laughs> it's, uh, it's overwhelming being here. I think, aside for the immediate family, Fanny and I probably know Charles the longest, having had the pleasure of feeding him for five and a half years. Let me tell you, he can put down a Shabbos dinner. We had a, a Jewish boy from New Jersey, six, eight, three hundred pounds on the Toledo Rockets team, and Charles gave him a hard time at dinner. It was, um, but it was a pleasure. And if any of the students weren't eating, Charles put on his good old Bubby voice and uh, made sure that they put down a good dinner. Um, my little presentation to Charles and Brenna is something that money can't buy, something that's very near and dear to myself and to Connie, and something I never truly believed would happen. When we met Charles, tradition and Charles were not on the same page. Uh, and as the years went by, and I would say truly, Charles, the journey that Charles took to Yiddishkeit is one of family and friends, not so much an intellectual journey, but a community journey. When he called me from Philadelphia and said, there's a Shabbat club, I can do a club, and if the club is Shabbat, I can do Shabbat also, uh, I knew right away he was surrounded by good people. Uh, this morning at around 10 to 6, before God woke up, you know, uh, on the way out of the house, I said to Hani, could we share with Charles something that's very special to us? I have in my hand a dollar bill that Hani received from the Lubavitcher Rebbe, and I looked through our collection this morning for, I was looking for a dollar bill that perhaps Hani or I received on today's date. I couldn't find one, but I did find one that has on it the date Chav Dalet Elul, the 24th of the month of Elul, 1991. On the 24th of Elul in 1999, Hani and I got married. So the date is our wedding anniversary, and I want to give this special blessing in the form of a dollar bill that was given to us to give charity, 
And as Rabbi Schmidt said under the chuppah, the blessing of a tzaddik carries forever and ever. And I want to share this special bracha with the two of you to hold and to cherish. If you need me to get it to you in mint condition later tonight, I'll take it back and get it to you. Uh, mazel tov. I know you'll cherish it and may bring you unlimited brachas together and for the entire family, family and all your loved ones. Mazel tov. Yeah, do you want to hold it? Yeah, please, please. We'll get a little frame. My parents, um, Katie, yeah. Huh? Should we hold it for a picture? Congratulations, Charlie and Brenna. Have a wonderful life together, and don't forget to write. Thank you. <laughs> Brenna's getting married. Brenna's getting married. Well, this is from Charles and Brenna. I'm sure you guys will be very, very happy together, and you were adorable. You were circling Charles. That was cute. <laughs> Charles and Brenna, I love you so much. I'm so happy for you, Mazel Tov. Charles, I don't know where I'd be without you, Brenna. I can't wait for you to live three blocks from me. I'm going to visit all the time, and you're going to come to my house. Thank you guys for being my friend. I love you. And Deborah has something else to say. What is it, Deborah? I'm just kidding. I love Deborah. Charles, I don't have to help you cook your Shabbos dinners anymore because now you have a wife. Brenna, you get to chop vegetables for Charles now. <laughs> Brenna, you could still stay at my house, though. <laughs> yeah, you can sleep on my futon. <laughs> hey, Charles. What's up? Happy uh, wedding. Yay. Okay, Charles and Brenna, um, this is a beautiful, beautiful wedding, and we are absolutely thrilled to be able to celebrate with you. We wish you guys a wonderful, wonderful life together, and we are really happy that we'll be able to share the start of that life with you here in Philadelphia. Mazel tov. Mazel tov. Don't trash my house, Charles and Brenda. <laughs> don't make me do something that I don't want to do. I want to put you out. Mazel tov. Mazel tov, Charles and Brenda. We love you very, very much. We're so excited to be here. And we can't wait to see you guys build a bias in Israel. And we are looking forward to having a super, super long, long, long friendship with you. We love you very much. Mazel tov, Brennan and Charles, we love you guys. Brennan and Charles, I just want to say finally, 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 I am so excited for you. And I can't wait to come to Shabbos dinners at your house. And since you guys can come to mine. Um, and my son is just so much more eloquent than I am, so model tough. <laughs> Brenda, you missed this, but Charles, for years after screaming, Charles is getting married, Charles is getting married. Finally, it happened. Not getting Mazel God. tov, Mazel tov, it's fantastic. You should God have God lots of nachos, slacha, and, and children, like more than anything amen, else. Amen, amen, amen. amen. Okay. Charles and Brenda, Beth and I, and the entire Senate Jewish community want you to know how much we love you both and how we're, we're so excited that you found each other and that you're establishing a true basis royal and our blessings and wishes go to you in the strongest of senses that you should have joy and happiness and good health and a lot of children and I'm not going to steal the, the Vilma Bracha I'll let, I'll let the uh, various rabbinical authorities give that bracha. But from our table to your heart, may you be blessed by the Almighty with everything rare and beautiful. L'chaim v'levracha, mazel tov, mazel tov. All right, well, I talked a lot already, so I, I'm sure that you heard enough. So we're going to introduce Rabbi Cantor, who's very handsome, and he has a good voice. And uh, anyway, Brenna and Charles just have a wonderful life together. Binyan Adeyad, the Rebbe's brachas, should be McQueen, should be fulfilled. Mazel tov. Hey, mazel tov, mazel tov, Charles. Uh, thank you for having me at your wedding. I, uh, I know you had a dream with me dancing with you, so I hope that dream was fulfilled. And uh, we're looking forward to seeing you and your wife grow and your children grow to make this world uh, a world the children want to live in. Mazel tov. Mazel tov, Charles and Brenna. We're so, I'm so happy to be here. Mazel tov. Hi, Brenna. It's your Uncle Donald and your Aunt Lee. And uh, I just want to reiterate uh, what Greg said. I've, I've known you for a long time. I've seen you 
on many occasions, and uh, I don't think I've ever seen you as happy as you, as you look tonight, and I hope that happiness just ex keeps going and going. And if you ever do an adult dance recital, we want to be invited. Okay, Charles and Brenna, you're married? It's August 10th, 2014, and we all love you. Bye -bye. Congratulations, Brenna, honey. I hope you'll be happy, healthy, and well.
want to say thank you to Brenna because for whatever reason she picked me and she puts up with me and I love her a lot. Uh, thank you to her mother who has done so much for this wedding. Thank you to my family who came from far and far, uh, farther to be here and all my friends who've made Philadelphia a home for me. Thank you to the anonymous donor who also helped make this wedding possible. And just thank you everybody for coming out and make it be part of our special day. Um, I can't even remember everyone who I'm supposed to thank. Um, I, I just, I, I, we're very grateful for all the love and everything. Um, we, we look forward to, to um, giving back and, uh, and just um, and giving that love back and giving everything we can. And we're just very excited and um, we love you. Today is not possible without you, so thank you. Memories press between the pages of my mind. Memories sweeten through the ages just like wine. Quiet thoughts come floating down and settle softly to the ground like gold of autumn leaves around my feet. I touch them and they burst apart with sweet memories. Sweet memories of holding hands and red bouquets and twilights trimmed in purple haze and laughing eyes and simple ways and quiet nights and gentle days with you. Memories press between the pages of my mind. Memories sweeten through the ages just like wine. Memories